Hi, my name is MC Reed and I'm a Solutions Consultant here at Postman. Today I'll be giving a brief video demonstration of Postman's API platform and discussing how it's enabling the healthcare industry to embrace digital transformation in an API world while protecting patient information. Let's go ahead and get started. With Postman, healthcare providers are revolutionizing the quality of care that they provide to their patients and the speed at which they are able to provide it. Doctors and nurses on the front lines of patient care need instant access at their fingertips to powerful 360 degree views of their patients' health histories, current medications, and diagnoses. But with HIPAA requirements always a top of mind concern, Postman is being used to help create software that delivers protected health information, or PHI, directly to where it's needed the most, instantaneously, but always with confidentiality, integrity, and security. Prior to implementing an effective API strategy, some common problems that our customers have had that have led to HIPAA violations include lack of proper training about how to leverage technology in a compliant manner, exposing PHI to the wrong parties, or creating and using technology that is built in a fundamentally insecure fashion. Postman is a critical component in ensuring that your software and your connected digital systems are designed and built from the very beginning with the protection of patient data in mind. In today's world, apps and applications connect to big systems like electronic health record systems, which themselves access patient data. And these days, applications often don't just connect to one system or one source of data, they connect to multiple. Connecting these systems and components effectively and securely requires that your developers and architects have comprehensive, intuitive, and always up-to-date documentation. Postman allows you to do just that by giving you the ability to display this documentation right beside the thing that you're working on every step of the way. Here we see it at the level of the workspace in which you're working. If we click on a particular collection of APIs, we have the same context, but now specific to that collection, and then right down to the level of the individual API endpoint itself. At Postman, when we talk about enablement, one of the things that we talk about all the time is time to first API call. How quickly we can educate your API stakeholders and make them productive with a set of APIs. Displaying documentation in this manner is a critical component in achieving this. That's effective if you're already collaborating within a team, but how do you find APIs that are available from the vendors of the third-party systems that we mentioned a few moments ago? And how do you share and make available your own APIs to customers, to partners and other groups within your organization. This is an example of publicly facing live API documentation that is continuously automatically updated. Whenever one of your API consumers accesses this URL, they will always receive an up to the second version of this that represents any work that is taking place within Postman with crisp, clear explanations of all APIs along with sample code for calling them. To start using this collection, we simply click on the Run in Postman button at the top, and we will create a copy of that collection in the location of your choice so that you can begin using it. Postman also has public and private API networks. The public API network, the largest such network in the industry, allows Postman users and partner companies to advertise collections so that consumers can easily search for them. Postman's private API network serves a similar purpose, but it does so privately within an organization to create a private ecosystem of APIs that can be advertised by one group for discovery and consumption by everyone else. Now, suppose as an API consumer that you're searching for the LifePack API. How do you effectively manage, socialize, and make use of it? Well, you need to educate yourself about it, confirm what resources it gives access to, and confirm that it has the expected capabilities. You'll then need to confirm what design contracts it respects and imposes, and you'll need to quickly stand up testing for the API so that you can get started developing against it. All of this requires discovering and getting educated on these APIs quickly, standing them up quickly so that you can test against them quickly, and doing so in an automated fashion so that your development process is faster, less error prone, and presents less long-term risk to your PHI. And if you can do this faster without compromising security, 
you can respond to your patient's needs more quickly. From the perspective of the API provider, the leading trend in the industry today is to adopt an API-first approach. That means that before you implement your APIs, invest the time to properly plan and architect them. Detect quality and governance issues at the earliest possible moment. Fully document the functionality and intent of the API. Align it with the source control repository and your organization's branching and release strategy. Test it immediately and consistently for quality and governance issues before your consumers deploy it. Elevate it to the level of your CI CD process as a first tier consideration and monitor it across your entire API lifecycle. As an API consumer, I've now generated my collection of APIs and I'm ready to use it. I have in front of me the workspace into which it was generated and the collection itself is right down here. Notice over the next few clicks that the documentation will follow me on my journey through Postman. Highlighting an individual API endpoint, I can quickly go ahead and execute it to see how it behaves. I can quickly see its output, and for an API that returns complex data, I can visualize the data graphically to make my interaction with the API even more intuitive and natural. Our healthcare customers are also concerned with avoiding common missteps that lead to HIPAA violations. Things like insecure use of technology, improper patient authorization, and exposing PHI to the wrong parties. They use Postman to implement a comprehensive testing strategy to ensure that every API that is either provided to or used by the organization adheres to strict functional, contractual, design intent, and design governance guidelines, standards and business rules that your organization dictates. This way, you're always assured that your APIs are functioning and being consumed in strict compliance with your business, compliance, and governance best practices. In Postman, your business and governance rules live side by side with your APIs, and quality is enforced every single time that an API is tested. Any resulting problems are identified immediately. Groups of APIs can even be run together to ensure that your APIs are properly supporting the higher level business functions for which they were designed. If a developer unintentionally designed an API that lacks sufficient security, we'll spot it. If an API exposes identifiable PHI, we'll spot that too. With Postman, you can design your digital transformation efforts with proper security and compliance from the very start and never have to try to add it after the fact. That was a brief overview of how Postman is enabling the healthcare industry to rapidly modernize and embrace digital transformation through the effective use of APIs. Healthcare companies are recognizing that an effective API strategy is critical, not just important, to thriving in today's world. Today's world demands rapid change, rapid response, patient empowerment and visibility, and interconnectedness. This world expects that healthcare entities are patient-focused rather than process-focused, and those entities that don't achieve this will fall behind. 